Next to Israel local election headquarters, the first forum since the primary election for the U.S. Senate campaign took place today at the Lake of the Ozarks. But for one major party candidate, well, that party candidate was not in attendance. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley was the only television reporter there from our area, and she has more on that absence. This is the first time since 2000 that a major party candidate refused to participate in a Missouri Press Association forum. Eric Schmidt declined the invite to discuss key issues with Democratic candidate Trudy Bush Valentine. And I'm going to be the one that will be Eric Schmidt to the Senate. In less than eight weeks, Missouri voters head to the polls to decide who will replace retiring U.S. Senator Roy Blunt. We need honesty, integrity, truth back in our politics, and that's the way I will serve. In the first forum since the primary election, Democratic candidate Trudy Bush Valentine faced off against Libertarian candidate Jonathan Dine and Constitution Party candidate Paul Venable. Topics included President Biden's loan forgiveness program. If somebody borrows $40,000, does it really make sense for them to pay $1,000 for 30 years and pay back 175? You know, why are we trying to profit off of the backs of our kids' educations? Election integrity. A constitutional violation took place and that Joe Biden is not effectively or illegitimately the president of the United States. And the importance of one of Missouri's number one industries. We shouldn't be selling any farms. Eric Schmidt allowed hundreds of thousands of acres of farmland to be sold to communist China. That is just plain wrong. On stage, Attorney General Eric Schmidt's podium stood empty. In a statement, his campaign said, Missourians deserve a televised statewide primetime debate with the two major candidates on the same stage. Attorney General Eric Schmidt has agreed to this, and the heiress Valentine hasn't. The debate that Schmidt agreed to is the Next Star debate that is planned for October 4th. It's airing on all Missouri Next Star stations, including this one. Bush Valentine has yet to decline or accept the invite. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau at Lake of the Ozarks, I'm Emily Manley.